Well, this is what it should look like when you uh, get a new project going <coughs> in uh, your RStudio Cloud workspace. And what I want to show you how to do is to get uh, some data brought up here from Canvas, all the way from Canvas. So let's go over to Canvas first. And here's the data that I want to move up to RStudio Cloud. It's uh, cdc.r data. So what we're going to do is click on that. And then we see this command, download cdc.r data. And click on that. Let that take place. And at that point, uh, the cdc.r data file should be in your downloads folder. You can look at it, but we'll just assume it's there. Now go back to RStudio Cloud. In RStudio Cloud, you see the opposite of a download. You see upload. And that's right here. Click on that. And then you have to go over here and you say choose file. And now you would navigate to your downloads folder. And yes, indeed, there is the cdc.r data. And before I did this, I stopped and cleaned out the piles of junk I had in my downloads folder. You probably got piles of junk there, too, in yours. Anyway, double-click on that. And then say OK. And there you see cdc.r data. It has been brought up to your um, computer. So this means it's on your computer, but uh, at this point, uh, R doesn't really know that it's there, so what we have to do is bring it into our R environment. And to do that, we go up here and we click on File, Open File, and then we click on cdc.r data and say Open. And then it asks, do you want to load the R data file into your global environment? Say Yes. OK. Then I'm going to want to save this particular command. Uh, it turns out to be useful later on. So to put it, get a place to save it, I'm going to come up here and in this green arrow, you see the green arrow there? That's where you put a new file. And let's click on that and let's make this an R script. So now what we did, we created this uh, R script panel up here and we've got something we called untitled one. Okay, and let's bring this command, just do your regular thing, copy and paste, select it. Careful that you don't get either of those greater than signs, we don't want those. Click right click on it, copy, go up here, right click and paste. And now we've got that uh, command saved for later reference, we'll, we'll need that for something. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's just run a command and look look a little bit at the CDC file, and I can do it a couple different ways. I can go down here in the console, and I can say str, parentheses, cdc, and just hit the return key, and it gives me a bunch of information. str stands for structure, and what it says is that you've got 20,000 observations of nine variables, and it tells you what all the variables are, and they're uh, all things that pertain to individuals in the population. I can run the same command or a different command up here, but I do it a different way. Up here, I can use the same command as, oops, str, left parent cdc, and then my cursor is in this line, so when I uh, click on run over here it'll run that line and you notice that it just ran the same command again it, both of these get done in the console another thing that's frequently useful to run is the summary command I'll say s u m m a r y parentheses cdc and I can click come over here and click on run and I'll get uh, a lot of description of the things that are, let's uh, blow up this window here so we can see more. There's the summary, tells me what kinds of things. It says, for instance, that height has a minimum value of 48 inches and a maximum value of 93 inches. Wow, that's a tall guy, 7 feet 9 inches. I kind of wonder about that. Okay, well the whole purpose of this little video was to show you how to get data uh, all the way from Canvas up into RStudio Cloud, and 
We'll talk later about all the things that we can do with data after we've got it into RStudio Cloud. But that's all for now, folks.